What's up, Live Lean Nation? Brad Guthrie here from LiveLeanTV.com. So before we get into today's episode, I wanna just quickly share that if you wanna listen to this episode, you can listen to it over on our Live Lean TV podcast. Just open up your podcast app, search Live Lean TV, then subscribe to the podcast and listen while you work out or during your travel. Or if you prefer to read the information from this video, you can also check out the blog post from this video at liveleantv.com. So in a previous video, guys, we talked about the positive and the negative sides of the insulin hormone. But if you missed that post, here's a quick recap. So insulin, it plays a positive role in the body when it is properly regulated. It removes blood sugar from the bloodstream and delivers glucose and amino acids into the cells. However, when high glycemic refined carbohydrates are consumed in excess, the body can quickly experience an insulin hormonal imbalance that can release a fat storing enzyme called LPL. So straight up, this enzyme literally turns your body into a fat storing machine. So on today's episode, I wanna talk about the antagonistic hormone to insulin called glucagon. Now glucagon hormone helps prevent low blood sugar levels and helps keep energy levels balanced. So when I say low blood sugar levels, this is typically lifestyle related, caused by people who follow low calorie diets, they skip meals and they do excessive cardio. So glucagon, like insulin, is secreted by the pancreas and is also considered one of the hunger hormones Hormones, along with leptin, ghrelin, and insulin. So similar to the leptin hormone, glucagon is also considered a hormone that can turn off your hunger as the secretion of the glucagon can reduce the production of that hunger hormone ghrelin and signal to the body when your body is feeling full. And as mentioned, glucagon is also considered the insulin antagonist because when glucagon rises, insulin decreases. So they're essentially the yin and yang of blood sugar management. So when glucagon is released, it produces a fat burning enzyme called HSL. So differing from the fat storing L LPL enzyme, which is released by insulin imbalances, that HSL enzyme can turn your body into a fat burning machine. So in other words, the secretion of the glucagon hormone can initiate fat burning rather than fat storing. So by keeping both insulin and glucagon in balance, your fat cells will deflate and your body will maintain its role in burning fat for energy rather than storing it. So you may be wondering, how can I benefit from this? Well, guys, remember, excessive insulin production typically from that overconsumption of carbohydrates, especially refined carbohydrates, sets the stage for fat gain. So a balanced production of the glucagon hormone sets the stage for fat loss. So this is just another reason to reduce those refined sugary foods and focus more of your carbohydrate intake on complex, lower glycemic carbohydrates. It's also important to consume more high quality protein sources such as beef, chicken, fish, eggs, and protein powder as glucagon can be stimulated by protein rich meals and snacks. And let's not forget about your workouts. So excessive multiple hour cardio sessions are out. Shorter but intense resistance training and HIIT workouts are in. So if you need access to protein rich and delicious meals and snacks, our Live Lean Nutrition Bundle contains our best recipes, our cooking videos, our meal plans, and grocery lists designed to help you change your eating habits for life. So I'll put a link down below, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching and keep living lean.